Okay, Bokar Tov, uh, gentlemen. Um, today, the 9th of Sivan, June 12, 2019. Uh, Parashat Naso, I want to share with you, I think, I think we spoke in the past, I'm not sure uh, about this story, but I think this story can help us a lot uh, for, for the message that I would like to share with you today. So there was this... Uh, couple that they make teshuva. They made teshuva a few years ago, eight years ago. And Baruch Hashem, they started to keep up Shabbat, kasher, all the mitzvot, all the mitzvot. They also changed the kids and they put them in, in schools, you know, more, more, uh, more uh, religious schools. Anyway, the only issue was that the woman... One thing wasn't able to keep. She wasn't able to cover her hair. And that was too hard for her. And it was such an issue that the husband told her, listen, the kids are already getting older. And the problem is that the kids, they don't want to, inv they don't want to invite their friends to the, uh, to the house because they might see, they might see their mother Right? Not covering the hair. We got to do something. So uh, he tried to speak with her, you know, tried to cover the hair. I mean, you're keeping everything. That, that, that's, that's a big deal to cover the hair. She said, listen, you don't understand. For me, I can't. I can't. It's too hard. And the husband cannot understand his wife. What's too hard? Shabbat is hard. Kosher is hard. Everything was hard. We pass it. Covering the hair, come on. It's like to tell me to put on kippah. That's hard. She said, you don't understand me. It's hard. It's hard. I can't. They agree that they're going to ask a rabbi what to do. They chose a rabbi in between both of them. And they went to the great chacham of Shlomo Zalman Noyer Bachalav Shalom. Great tzaddik, not only tzaddik, but he was beloved by everybody. Everybody. And uh, the husband decides to go. The husband decides to go to, um, to the rabbi to ask him what to do. The rabbi goes. And the guy goes. And the rabbi tells him, I hear. Let me just tell you one thing. Let me just tell you that you know how hard it's for a woman to cover the hair? Imagine I give you a knife and you have to cut your face. And I tell you that's part of the religion, to cut you, your face. You will do it. And you will take your time to think about it twice, three times, five times. With the wife, it's the same exactly thing by covering the hair. I said, but, but, but Rabbi, and he repeated himself, Two times, three times. The guy got very upset. And he left the he left the office of the rabbi. Comes back home. And his wife look at him. He says, Honey, what did the rabbi told you? Say, eh, he didn't say anything. Ah, I want you, I want to hear. What, what, what did the rabbi told you? He said the same thing that he's telling me. You know how hard it is, and that. Well, really, the rabbi, that's what he told you? He says, yes. She said, and tell me something. This rabbi, it's a big rabbi? So, of course, he's the biggest. Uh-huh. And that's what he told you, that it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Rabbi, next morning, the husband comes back from shul, enters to the kitchen, and the wife comes up to him with a kisui rosh, saying, no. How it is? It's nice on me. He was in shock. He says, "But one second, I, I, I thought, I thought you was very hard, no?" Rabotai, on kedusha we have to know one thing. To go to extremes, it's a problem. I'm not saying that covering the heritage is an extreme. It's halacha. But the idea that I want to take out is 
to go through extremes is a problem. We have in the parasha a mitzvah, not a mitzvah, a guy that his name is Nazir. You know what's a Nazir? Nazir is a guy that decided to go to extremes. He decides that he wants to be holier than anyone else. And therefore this guy decides that from now on, on he's not going to cut his hair, he's not going to drink wine, he's not going to go to cemeteries, nothing of nothing. Nazir, it's uh, Kadosh, right? It's something good. We compare it to Kohen. The Kohen is not allowed to go to cemetery. He will not have permission to go to cemeteries as well. But Rabotai, the Nazir, at the end of the day, he has to bring Korban. The Nazir has to bring Korban, and the Korban is going to be a Korban of a sin. He made a sin by being Nazir. Why he made a sin? All the purpose is to be. The answer is, when you're taking steps too high, when you're trying to go to extremes, that's against the willing of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And not only in extremes, but also in Halakha. You want to make a change in someone? You want to start doing something different? Think about how the others can accept it. I'm not saying, oh, I'm not going to be Shomer Shabbat because my parents, they don't like it. No. You got to be Shomer Shabbat, but you got to know how to make your parents to like it as well. You have to know that when you approach someone and you want him to make a change, you have to, number one, understand him. Don't put him in extremes. If he doesn't feel now that it's the right moment, also give him the time, but at the same time, show him support. Tell him, I'm going to help you out. I'm with you. And you're going to see most of us, we want to do changes. And the only thing that we need is a support. The only thing that we need is a support. Like this lady. Of course she understood that it's important. She's already 99, you know, 0.9% religious. She's missing one thing. She wants to do it. She needs support. Once she got the support, she was able to make the change. You know, Rabotai, the Mekubalim explained... And I'm going to try to put it also as a picture over here. The Mekubalim explain that Akadosh Baruch Hu created the world with a He. Right? This world is with the letter He. See the Mekubalim, why it's with the letter He? It says because the He have two entrances to the middle. One is from the bottom. The other one is from the side. The Mekubalim explain that the bottom entrance, it's the entrance, it's not an entrance. Usually, it's to go out. It's an exit. The bottom represents the Yetzirah. The bottom represents all the Averot. The bottom represents how easy it's for a person just to go out from the Derech. And say the Makubalim, that that's why you have to understand that the challenges that we have in life are very big. And you can be building all your life in Torah and Irat Shamaim, and in one second, boom, you can fall down. Right? But why do I need this entrance from the side? For what? To come back? Let him come back from here. The answer is <clears> that the Rabotai, to try to come back throughout Averot, it's impossible. And I'm going to give you an example. There was a lady, true story, Goya. But uh, it's a Rada, everybody have. This lady, Baruch Hashem, money, she was, she was arranged, you know. Her husband had a very good job. She didn't have to work. She had two girls. The, one, the oldest one was 17. The second one was 10. 10, 12. She doesn't work. She had all the money that she wants. Everything is going well. There is only one thing that is coming a challenge. What is it? No. 
Only one thing that is becoming a challenge is she was getting bored. Normal. She's not working. She doesn't need to work. She does nothing. So it started to become, you know, heavy, nothing to do. So at the beginning, like every, everyone will start, you know, let's go shopping. Go shop, how much you can go shopping? And let's go to, uh, I don't know, coffees and movies and stuff. How much you can go? And not always you have your friends that are going to go with you. Rabotai, this lady, one day she said, you know what? I got to do something with myself. You know, to start doing things that are interesting for me, that, that are, you know, more active and in, in, in action. She decides, Rabotai, she decides one morning as she takes the kids to school, she arranges herself and she goes to a casino. Only one time, what? Yeah, relax. She goes to the casino. Rabotai, she went to the casino, and what can I tell you? She got her day. She got good money. She enjoyed from it. And she knew, I'm just going to expand a very small amount. I'm not even interested in uh, all this. To make the long story short, as you can imagine, the thing from one time a week, one day a week became two days a week. From two days a week became every day a week. And like that, it started to become worse and worse and worse. Not only that, she lost a lot of money. She had to sell some stuff. She regained. She re-lost. The casino saw a huge potential over here. And the casino decided to be in contact, permanent contact with this customer. Sending emails, calling her. She won Even one time, she decided already to stop with it. And they moved to another neighborhood. They moved. Really, they didn't have, or to another city, they didn't have any contact anymore with that casino. But what can I tell you? One of those days, they went back, and then she told her husband, maybe you can come with me only one day, you know, just to visit up. So, so much time that I didn't. And she went, and from that time, the owner of the casino was present over there, and she, he told her, oh, long time no see, what's going on with you? And they started to talk. And from that conversation, the owner of the casino decided that she is a target. And he didn't stop calling her every day. Didn't, she brought her limousines to pick her up. Every, whatever you can imagine. Rabotai, this lady, at the end of the story, she got two from the casino. What happened over here? What's going on is exactly what happened to each one of us. We fall and we are humans. And we can fall. The thing is that if you don't understand that you cannot continue the same way that you were used to and to think that you're going to be able to fight you yet, if you think that you can fight you yet, by coming from, from this side of the, of the hay, that is throughout the yet, to maintain the same style, lifestyle that you were used to, until today, and to fight the Yetzirah, that's impossible. Say, Chachamim, the world is built up with the hay. You fall down, you must do a whole turn, and to come from a different entrance. And it's going to be a small one, very hard, very difficult, because you will have to limit up yourself. But once you do it, you are going to be able to come back inside the world, inside the world of Akadosh Baruch Hu. That's Rabotai, the whole point of Parashat Shavua. Nazir is showing up, yes, showing us, yes. Number one, taking ex extremes are not good. But number two, sometimes there, there is a need to take extremes to be able to come back. Because if you want to continue with the same lifestyle, you will never be able to come back to Akadosh Baruch Hu. Baruch Amen. 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 Amen.